give God the thanks for allowing us to be here today. He gave us grace here, safe traveling here to see the road, and we just want to thank him and praise him today. And for our guests, we hope you enjoy City Grove being here at City Grove with us today. We hope you get something out of our ministry so that you can go back and worship to others. We are so glad to have you here. And we just want to give God the uh, grace and the praise because he's so worthy. He's been so good to us. He brought us through a new year. And that's enough to give him a, a hand, okay? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being so good. Thank you for being so kind. Thank you for being so worthy, Lord Jesus. Thank you for being so good to us, Lord Jesus. We, you've been good, better than us than we've been to ourselves. And we just got to give you the praise. For the Bible say, enter into the gates with thanksgiving and enter into this court with praise. And that's what we want to do with you today, Lord Jesus, because you've been so good and so nice to us, Lord Jesus. You've been our bridge over troubled water. You've been there when nobody else has been there for us, Lord. And we just want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and give you the praise that you so deserve, Lord. Thank you just for being there, Lord. Just thank you for watching over us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for waking us up this morning with our legs, our hands, our feet. We are able to see. That's enough to give God the praise and what He's going to say. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for being so good to us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for watching over our kids, Lord Jesus. It's so hard out there in the world today. And we just want to thank you for keeping our kids covered, Lord Jesus. Keeping them safe, Lord Jesus. Keeping them in your will, Lord Jesus. And just thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being so merciful, so kind, so wonderful. Lord, just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. We just can't praise you enough. And we just love you, love you for all the things that you have done for us and all the things that you're going to do for us, Lord Jesus. And whatever you do in 2000 and 2020, please include us, Lord. Don't leave us out. Don't leave City Grove out, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much. And I say all these wonderful things in your precious name, Jesus. Amen.
and see the grove. This is the day that the Lord has made. I said, this is the day that the Lord has made. And what we gonna do? We gonna rejoice and be glad in it for the rising of the sun to the going down of the sand. He is God. And beside him, I said beside him, there is none other. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good and his mercy. How many this morning, God, are thanking God for mercy? His mercy endureth forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and when you think that it's gone he said no I got a whole lot low so that's a whole forever and ever 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 put your hands together and give God a praise. God has been good to us. I said God has been good to us. Come on, somebody. God has been good to us. As, as we look and hear all the things that are going on in the news today, God has continued to put his hand of mercy all around us. Amen. I, I, I have seen airplanes dump fuel before. Y'all heard of this this week? Airplane dumping fuel over our communities. But God said he will not let any evil befall us because he's watching over us both day and night. Airplanes sliding off the runway. Delta Airlines had a flight in Atlanta drop 30,000 feet. That's a big drop. Especially when you see, I listen. I, I want to know where the plane is climbing to so I can hear tell the Lord now, all right, put these angels under these wings. I, I learned a long time ago, all the folks used to say, wherever you go, whatever building you go in, and whatever mode of transportation you take. Lay your hands on it and tell the Lord to put some angels in there with you. Come on, somebody. So whoever's behind me got to wait till I lay hands on the plane and say, Lord, send your angels right now and hold up this plane because I'm on it. But if you say it's time to go, I don't want to be too far. I'll be right there so you just take me right on. I'll be already close. You ain't got to let me hit the ground. You can let me take me right there while we in there. I'll just, God bless y'all. Goodbye. The pilot, I'm talking to the real pilot now. All right. Captain Jesus, take me on. But I, 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 I'm, I'm thankful and grateful uh, for God. Let's, let, us, let us not become consumed with affairs and the things of the world. Amen. These things must be and they must come to pass. They must fulfill what the scripture has told us. That we will be living in a day and time that there will be evil men. Yes, yes, yes. Evil men. And spiritual wickedness in high places. So get a, get a tidbit of news, but don't let it become digestive in your system. That it worries you all day and you hear people panicking. And, and oh, what we gonna do? What we gonna? Do? I don't know what you gonna do. Some trust in horses, and some trust in chariots. But my trust is in the name of the Lord. And if I can inject a little piece of Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder said, "Don't you worry about a thing." <laughs> 
Dad, don't you worry about a thing. And, and, and he said, because he'd be standing in the wings when you check it out. So I don't have to wait for looking for him in the wings. He's right beside me. Walking and talking with us on a day-to-day -day basis. The Lord bless you and keep you. Let us remember another thing, please. One thing that we have to learn as being people of color. We have always found a way to survive. Amen. I don't care how bad it has been. We've always found a way to survive. And, and, and the things that are going on in the world today, they're trying to eliminate us, taking jobs and things away from us. But you know, we are the most, I, I'll say it, we are the most intelligent and creative beings that God made. Come on, you got to believe that. You've got to believe that. Uh, uh, we were taught, I was on the broadcast of the, uh, on Friday night, KTYM, uh, and, and it was called It's Time. From an educational standpoint, they told us if we get a good education, good job, and, 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 and keep the standards that we would live the American dream. It ain't never been our dream. Come on. It never been our dream. We went to school. But in going to school, there were certain schools they didn't want us to go to. Anything we do, we have to do it and be twice, three, four times better than the people we compete with. You can go to school, get a degree, and be the top of your class. Amen. And there'll be somebody that been, has been incarcerated, doesn't have even a GED, but will wind up getting a job and being over you. So what's the solution? Do what we used to do. Create our own businesses. I said create our own business. Be your own boss. You don't have to depend on nobody looking for you. Uh, you be looking for them to give you a paycheck on Friday. You be your own boss. Amen. I said to say this. We have a young lady right here in our midst with entrepreneur skills. Amen. Uh, we need to stop giving our money to uh, uh, Macy's <laughs> and Nordstrom. I don't know somebody got a Macy card up here. <laughs> Macy's and Nordstrom and, and Clinique and Mac and all of them other stores that are making a fortune off of us. And we have someone right here in our midst. Quick Economics 101. Our money, when we get it, leaves our hands. We don't even circulate it one time. Asians nine times, yeah. Jews eight times, white folks six times. Right. It circulates before it leaves the community. Amen, amen. We get a check and run right to them and give it yeah. to them. Yeah. We have to learn how to support our own. Amen. The reason, the reason, little history, the reason why. They destroyed Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Black Wall Street because we were self-sufficient. We had our own banks, yeah, yeah. our own businesses, our own lawyers, our own hospitals, our own doctors, and we were self-sufficient right in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Called it Black Wall Street. It's in the history. You can pull it up, Google it and find out how much we were successful and they stopped it because we were our own people with our own economy. Amen, amen. And if we could ever come together, African Americans right now generate over a billion dollars in just one industry. Over a billion dollars. But yet we won't tell one another, we won't share with one another, and we won't support one another. Well, this is the church in Cedar Grove, 
has some brilliant minds here, has entrepreneur. We have people with skills right here. Amen. I said right here. You don't know who you sit next to or across from. But we have to learn how to support and love one another. Amen. Let's give God a praise. Excuse me, my brother. I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I never got your name. I don't. I, I see the brother with the white shirt on. I don't want to call him that. Uh, my name is Donald Jordan. Donald Jordan. Yes, and I want to elaborate on one thing. I'm going to a drug program Tuesday for CCS. Okay. Okay. And
again. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Is our prayer. This time we're going to go into a portion of service that everybody can be a part of, and that is in our giving. And we know, we know, we know, we know, we know that we know. Amen. No, we know. Amen. That God has been good and faithful to us, and we yes. cannot beat Him. Give it no matter how hard we try. He's been blessing us uh, uh, and, and keeping us. And, you know, every month you say, oh, Lord, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it. But the Lord will make a way somehow. And I'm a, I'm a witness. And, and the, the thing that he loves is a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. Somebody that when you give, please don't crumble up the dollar in your hand. Don't uh, don't make it that we have to go and iron it out to just you know, put it in. So when it comes time for uh, 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 making the bank deposit, uh, uh, if you if you keep holding on to stuff too long, ain't nothing going out, ain't nothing coming in. Amen. And you wind up before you know it, it's gone anyway. Hello, somebody. Boy, I tell you. You look, you look and you smile when you go to the bank and, and you tell them, uh, uh, <laughs> give me a big bill. You get that, you get that hundred dollar bill and all of a sudden, before you know it, you look and say, I know I had a hundred dollar bill in here. But Alex has got some and you had to pay your copay. You go to the doctor and you had to buy some gas. You stopped at Starbucks or McDonald's or wherever your place is and got you got you something for uh, early morning breakfast. And, and then you look in there and, 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 and if you do like me, sometimes you, you take your pockets and you, you pull them all the way out and make sure you shake them just in case they got caught. But the Lord keeps blessing you. Keep blessing you. Keep blessing you. Keep blessing you. Keep blessing you. Yeah. Uh, the Bible said, take no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. And I found that to be true. What I, ain't no sense of me going to sleep, worried about it, tossing and turning. Ain't nothing I can do about it, but in the morning. Sanctuary of the Seed Grove Baptist Church. Amen. 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 We're going to also look today in the book, oh, excuse me, First uh, Corinthians, chapter number 15. news. Amen. But God, but God 
he will deliver you from that temptation. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, get out while you can. Get out while you can. Continuing to talk about uh, Lot's wife, All right. uh, we have discovered a few interesting uh, points about her, and uh, that is uh, she did, in looking in Hebraic uh, historicity or history, yeah. uh, found out that she did have a name. And uh, from a Jewish or Hebrew uh, perspective, her name uh, was Edith. Edith. We find also very interesting that during this discourse of time, uh, she was given the opportunity to escape an impending danger. Mm -mm. All right. She was able to leave, but she chose to stay. Wow. The late Donnie Hathaway, one of the great composers and singers, yes, uh, yes. did a song and it says, Giving up is so hard to do. Hallelujah. This is because he found himself in a situation like many of us have and we told the truth that we are emotionally psychologically and physically uh, tied up into some stuff that just hard to let go yeah. many of us have stayed in relationships on dead-end jobs and and dead-end marriages feeling that if we stay maybe just maybe oh it will get better. But in your heart of hearts and in your mind, you knew good and well. It was going nowhere fast. As a matter of fact, it went worse. And it never got better. And the problem is because sometimes we become desensitized. Mentally desensitized. Uh, looking the other way, pretending that things are going, better days are coming. But they have it, and Amen. they won't. Amen. And what you've really done was unfortunately wasted a lot of precious time. Hallelujah. Time that could have been useful in establishing a business. Time oh. you could have been better educating yourself. Time oh. that could have been more useful on you yes. rather than making someone else feel better about themselves that never will feel better about themselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spend too much time because they're, they're, we, we, we've unfortunately hooked up and locked up with a person as a needy person. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they can't and won't and never will be able to have the strength, the fortitude, and the foresight to be on their own. Mm -hmm. right. The Lord has always provided a way out. Yes, yeah. yes. Always. That's what the Bible said. There is nothing. The temptation that you have gone through is nothing. I know you think that it's it, 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 you in the worst situation and oh, don't nobody understand, but honey, uh, uh, like the old folks used to say, been there, done that. There's always somebody that's been where you are. Yeah. And if you just would listen to some people, instead of thinking you know it all, they can help you get out. Of some bad situations. Here we look at this woman again. We look because it, 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 is, it is something we have to do. Forgetting those things which are behind. Yes. Let some stuff go. We're in a new decade, a new year, yeah. and we want a clean slate. We want to have clear thought. 
purity of mind and most definitely a clear vision. We don't need nothing clouding our minds. Even in, in your sleep, even in your sleep, I tell you a little secret that I have. Before I go to sleep, I ask the Lord, let my sleep be sweet. It's in the Bible. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And, and, and when, when there's things in the past that, that, that have been locked in my subconscious try to come up, I just turn over and say, that's enough. Hallelujah. Amen. That's enough. I, I'm not, I'm not going to entertain this dream. Dreams come from a multitude of business. And sometimes you got so much going on that you can't sleep tossing and turning Amen. all night trying to figure out this, that, and other. Honey, ain't no, you can't figure it out in your sleep. There ain't going to be no recipe coming down and no scroll saying this is what you're going to do, this is what you're going to do. Go to sleep. And get up in the morning refreshed with a new thought. Yeah. God will be able to give you a new thought. Some of us can't get new thoughts because we've been wrestling all night. God is trying to give us a way out. I, 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 I look in the building. When I go into a building, one of the one of the most important things and facets that I look at is where is the escape? Amen. Where is the exit? If something goes down, how far is it going to be for me to get out? Uh, we have a training coming up, uh, and, and, and the training is, is, a, is a safety training to show you how to help not only yourself, but the people that are in the building with you, how to safely escape. Now, if the, if the, if the, if the, if the world provides a way of escape, do you not think that God has not provided a way of escape for you and me? Amen. He says it right here in the text, Paul wrote in the first letter to the Corinthian church. He said, no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common. It's not nothing that is uncommon. It's something that is common. Something that is common. Something that you are aware of. It's something that is common. And he said, but... God. And when you put God in it, everything is going to straighten out. Amen. Amen. But God. And what is but God? God is faithful. Yes, yes. Uh, that, that, that was good news to shout right there. Just to know that God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted above that which you're able to bear. That, that right there was good enough for me. Just knowing that God is faithful and he will not allow me to be tempted above that which I'm able to bear. Uh, so in other words, if, if, if you're in that temptation, if you're in that situation, trust and believe God's got a way out for you. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. I wish y'all would pray with me, but he said, God will give you a way out. Miss Lada Edith, whatever you want to call her name, refused to take the way out. Yes, yes. God have mercy. Not only did she have a way out, she had somebody that would lead her out. Angels had grabbed her by the hand. And the only instruction she said, the uh, only instruction was given to her is don't look back. Uh, how many times has God taken us out of a situation and we look back and before you know it, we're back in again. Yes, yes. You tell yourself, if I get out this time, I ain't never going back. Yes. Uh, we just had the Christmas holidays. And how many folks have used that credit card? Amen. After they paid it off, and they got back and said, I ain't gonna do it next year. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna have my whole year tied up trying to get untangled from this credit card. But oh, here come the temptation. That's got four letters. It said sale. 70% off sale. 40% off sale, 30% off sale, and by the time you get through it all on sale, that credit card goes up and up and up and up and up, but you say, Lord, if you get me out of this, you won't have to worry about me. 
Getting in debt again. You said, I just, if I can just get out of this, I'll be able to be more faithful and giving in church. I know you said it. I said it too. Now don't look at me like Alice in Wonderland. I know we've all been there and done it. Oh, Lord, just get me out of this. I promise, Lord, I, I won't. We pray and we cry and we cry. And we pray, snot running down our nose, tears running down our eyes, and we sniffling and mad at the dog and the cat. And everybody in the house gets to feel your wrath because you spent the money, you got the bill, but now everybody got to feel the pain and the pressure because you got out but went back in. Yeah. Yeah. In Judaism, one common view of Lot's wife turning to Saul was it was a punishment for disobeying the angel's warning. Looking back, and what was she looking back at? Let's look at what she was looking back at. She was looking back at evil cities. She wasn't looking back at no paradise. She wasn't looking back at no majestic, wonderful land that had opportunity and, 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 and different places of, of, of freedom. She was looking back at evil cities. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And, and, and then she betrayed her secret longing for that way of life. God knows the intent of your heart. Ain't no secret that you can hide from God. God knows. Oh yeah, he knows. Uh, he knows. The Bible said that his thoughts are higher than our thoughts of the heavens are above the earth. As a matter of fact, he says he knows your thoughts before you even think of them. Yes, so God already knew that Lot's wife was secretly holding, though she was leaving with her body. Amen, but the rest of her, her heart, her mind, and her spirit could not leave because some folk enjoy dirt. Come on, somebody help me. I'm almost through. Some folk revel. They look for dirt. There's some folk that the dirty it is the more they want to get in line. Yes, Some folk love, they just messy folk. Messy. They, if, if it ain't no mess, they're not content. I, 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 it, was, it was a sister some years ago. Uh, I said, I said, don't you get tired of mess? She said, no, I love mess. Hallelujah. And to this day, we ain't friends because I can't stand messy folks. I don't want to be drugged into her mess because she loved mess. Lot's wife enjoyed the mess that was in Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, yes, yes. It was a way of life. It was a way of life. It had become part of her DNA and she could not let it go. She refused to let it go. She, she refused and God was giving her a chance to get out. Oh yeah, you have to learn sometimes it may be painful, it may be a struggle, it may lead to your state eyes, but when God gives you a way out, baby, you got to go. You got to go. You can't stay. You got to go. No matter how many folk, folk will talk about you, no matter what you do. Sometimes you got to make a conscious effort that this is for me because my life is at stake. Come on, somebody. I, I, I have to do this because my mental stability is at stake. I don't want to be walking around here, uh, touching and looking around and batting my head, uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do because I'm worried about what folks are saying. Folks don't talk no matter what you do. And when God gets ready to do something in your life, you've got to negate family. You've got to negate 
friends. You got to negate all the naysayers that always want to keep you in a compartment that they can feel good about. You got to start living for yourself and living for God. Because it's only through God that you're going to find victory. You got to make up in your mind that I'm going to leave while the getting is good. I'm going to leave while I got a chance rather than stand around waiting for something to happen. Sometimes God sends somebody to you that gives you a remedy. And you got to know, you got to know that you know that you know that God is trying to help you and God is trying to bless you and God is trying to deliver you. You cannot allow folks to keep you bottled up and tied up for their own personal use. But you've got to learn when the time and the door is open, honey, step on through. Look at your neighbor and say, leave. Why you have a chance? You got to get out from amongst them uh, that will try to keep you pressed down. Uh, get out from folk that don't have a good word to lift you up. Uh, there's always somebody uh, that when they see God moving in your life uh, will come and try to throw some salt. Uh, or call the church, come and try to throw some hatred. Uh, or come and try to give you something to make you second guess and doubt God. Uh, but when God is showing you how to get out of something. Huh? You got to take the wings of the morning and get on out of there. Huh? I heard a songwriter huh, when he wrote these words and I'm through. Huh? He said yield not to temptation huh? for yielding is sin. Huh? Each victory will help you or some other to win. Huh? Fight manfully onward huh? and dark Look ever to Jesus, for he will carry you through. But this is what I really like. It said, just ask the Savior to help you. Comfort, strengthen, and keep you. He's willing to aid you, and he will carry you through. Good morning, good evening, good night, goodbye, Cedar Grove.
your safety today. Amen. And that's a blessing. Amen. 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 Thank God for all being in the ark of safety. Amen. And as we've given God a word for a plan for hand of praise for his word, let's just thank God for our candlestick today. Amen. Let's give God a hand for the praise for our Holy Spirit. Amen. He spent himself. Amen. He spent himself. Amen. Sharing that word today. 
Amen. And we want to let him know we love him. Amen. Amen. I said we want to let him know we love him. Amen. No better time, no finer time. Amen. No better time, no finer time. Amen. We want to show him we love him in a Amen. tangible way, in a true way. Amen. Let us get something tangible in our hands. Amen. That we can share. Amen. Love with our overseer. Let him know we can't.